talking about kids or adults the way the world's going today with pollution corruption swords everything's going into our earth and killing the ozone we might not be able to have a planet in the year 2055 due to the fact that we're killing ourselves pollution excuse me mr vernon miss cooper can i see in my office after class We need to know people that protects it. Planets. Green. That's the new thing that's going around. Okay, guys, make sure you don't have too much fun if you go about your research. Remember, it's do me and get back from work. Have a good vacation. Miss Cooper, finally, have a seat. I have a letter from the school's administrators. A response is required, so please get back to me after your break. Okay. Um, I'll respond to you as soon as possible. Okay, well, have a good break. Thank you. You know what, Professor? I think that you're a very handsome guy. And I was just thinking maybe on our break, we could hook up. You as well, young lady, are very gorgeous. But I don't think I can due to the fact that I am your professor and I'm a married man, but thank you. What's wrong? What did she call you for? Oh my God. What are you going to do about this? You drop out of school. You can't be serious, right? You just read the letter. 
There's no way I'm gonna live on this campus and go to school at the same time. Besides, my parents will never afford that much money. In that case, we might as well just share an apartment. Are you suggesting that I move in with you? I mean, if you don't mind. Are you killing? Of course I don't mind. Do you know how much that would mean to me? I mean, it's not a problem. What are friends for? Today for you, tomorrow it could be me, right? You're a good person. <laughs> Come here again. Thank you. Stop worrying about stuff. I got you, okay? tell you how much I appreciate you allowing me to move in with you. Listen, you don't have to worry about anything. Today for me, tomorrow for you. Okay? What are friends for? You are a real friend. Listen, I talked to my mom about everything. She's a sweetheart. I mean, she pays my rent, take care of my bills. Everything is great. And tomorrow I'm going to bring you to see her. How about that? Great. All right, don't worry about it. I love you. You I know I love you. I appreciate it. I got you, girl. I got you. <laughs> Don't ever scare me like that again. You understand? I'm warning you for the last time. Look, look I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. But, um, you know, I was just wondering who, who that was you was walking down the street with. Who was what? The, the girl you was, um, moving in your apartment with. You don't get it, do you? <laughs> Get what? You're a loser. What makes you even think that she would ever want anything to do with you? <laughs> I mean, look, I'm just trying to be friendly here. You know, there's no need for that. Not in your wildest dreams. She won't even talk to you. Out of my way. I got better things to do. Yo, you forgot your. Like I said, baby, North Carolina all day. Go take Michael Vick. Michael Vick gonna come down there. Dogs, cats, mouse, rabbits, rats, whatever. They all going with Carolina, baby. We're gonna be number one next year. And you know it. I'm getting tired of this shit. The Eagles lose every year, man. You might as well switch teams. Always bro. next year, bro. Man, I'm lose. tired of always next year, man. They ain't never gonna win anyway, so you might as well give up, man. You feel me? I'm gonna give it up. 
Oh, oh by the way, Kiwi, if your uh, wife come home late last night, my bad, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit, man. Hey, yo, your crackhead boy here, Jimmy. <laughs> Ooh, let's get Ooh, high, niggas. Right, 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 What's up, Brian? Long time no see. Where you been, man? You know, I've been around, but um, yeah, um, that's why I'm here. You know, I need to holler at you about something. Hope you're not in some kind of trouble. Nah, 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 nothing like that, man. You know, this really is um, <laughs> family in love. Ain't that a bitch? You in love with that rock? I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I'm gonna come back out there and get you, baby. Bye. Serious? <laughs> oh damn. Yo, yo, there goes this right there. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, what's oh so damn funny? God. <laughs> yo, what's so funny? <laughs> Listen, I'm in love with Holly Barrett, okay? But that doesn't mean your damn thing. Wake up, man. Look, man, you don't understand. I've been feeling this since the first time I laid eyes on her. I mean, seriously, I ain't thought of nothing or nobody since then. I can't get her off my head. Have you told her that you liked her? Nah, 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 not yet, nah. Yeah, man, you do yourself a good, good favor, man. Cause what sort of woman, man, would like to date a man like you, man? Wake up, man. I know, I know, but you know, if like I tried to I tried to holler at a girlfriend, you know what I mean? See what was up. And sis cussed me out, so seriously, I'm scared that, that this joint would cuss me out too. You're not listening, man, Brian. Get yourself together. At least, if not for you, for her. Yo, Jim. Jim. Yo. You, you think I'm a loser, man? Listen, man. I don't think you're a loser, man. But if you don't get it together, you might not be a winner either. Can I get back to Hey, finally, the project is done. Listen, I want a drink. Mm -mm, get up! I'm getting, I'm getting a drink right now. <laughs> ah, finally! Oh my God!
Blossom that I told you about? Oh, Blossom, it's all about you. I don't know where I'm going for Okay. I'm not being messy with you. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I will see. Okay. This is my house. Everyone told me everything about you. As you can see, I'll do everything, you know, in my week way for her. I'm not promising. But I will see what I can do for you. But what I want to tell you people to just focus on your lesson and your studies. As you can see, I'm on my way to a wedding, you know. So everybody can get your friend something to eat or something to drink. Ah, oh, nice day, happy boy. Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi. See, I told you she was a sweetheart. She sure is. I like her already. <laughs> hey, Louis. That's a cute dog.
You did it, man. I know, man. I had to. Yeah, I'm proud of you, man. You know, Jim, uh, <laughs> always knew I could count on you. I really appreciate that, bro. Listen, I knew you had it in you, man. I really knew you had it. You know what I'm saying? You cannot get yourself together, man. Maybe you can go after that girl you've been gone for. Yeah. Um, speaking of sis, uh, you seen her around? Yeah, every now and then she pops by the shop. Matter of fact, you gonna see her. You know, to get yourself together, man. What for you will always see your face, brother. Right? Come on, let's get out of the crazy place, man, brother. Alright, alright, before you leave, let me, uh, let me see what you're working with, I'm gonna grab a couple before you leave, alright, 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 Keep that up, man. I'm trying. All right. That's what's up. All right. I'll let you. Go. All right, man. All right. You might as well check these out. All right. All right. You got some numbers for me? What's the oh, number? Yes. Yeah, uh, one for five. I mean, I give you a deal. You know, three for ten. Three for ten? Yeah. All right. That's what <laughs> Alright, we might work. Okay. What you got over there, man? All this right, is man. all this uh, is all music. Yo, hold up, hold up one second. Alright, alright. Alright, hold up, hold up. Hey, uh, what's up? Hey, 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 I mean, I do, but that's only because I've been interested for quite a while. So, uh, I'm going to repeat myself. My name is Brian, and your name is? You are one funny guy, Brian. Well, if it insists, I'm blasting. Okay. That wasn't so hard, was it, Miss Blasting? And, uh, by the way, that's a, uh, very beautiful name for a very beautiful lady. Thank you. So, uh, are you new around here? Yes, I'm, uh, I actually just moved here a couple of months ago in my family. Okay. Well, I know this is a little forward, but uh, I was wondering if I could uh, call you sometime, maybe. You know, I can be a good friend, too. <laughs> you know something? You are getting weird now. First of all, you just ran up on me, iced me for my name. And now you want me to accept a friendship from a total stranger. No, but I'm not a bad stranger. I'm a good stranger, you know? I don't bite. <sighs> okay, Mr. Good Stranger. If he says we can be friends, but I still don't give my number to stranger. But see, 
you know, we've been standing here for two minutes talking. I think I moved beyond the realm of being a stranger. I'll give us a good stranger. I guess I'll be seeing you around. I gotta cut. Go. You gotta keep your hat on for your haircut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We good on the TV. We good on the DVDs. Come on, son. Come on, son. Another time. Alright. Single game. that smile on your face. <laughs> this guy I met today on my way home. Okay. <laughs> he's funny. Okay. Um, he's cute. I think I'm gonna like him. Okay. What's his name? Brian. How long is it gonna be get his car? Hello? Mom, why are you crying? Is everything okay? My dad condition have gotten worse. Oh my they gotta take him out of the country. God, it's crazy. He's our only source of income. Here. You know I got you, right? Don't worry about anything. He's gonna be fine, trust me. You're his true friend. I'm so sorry to hear that. Please, I'm not too good at guessing. Can you just come on straight? Okay, okay. Um, this is a good stranger. Bye. So, how's your day? My day is going great. It's yours. Oh, it's a lot better now that I'm talking to you. Okay, that's good to know that. I mean, I was just wondering, you know, if we could, if we can go out sometime, you know, maybe get lunch, dinner. Go to a movie. Anything you want. You know, you let me know. 
any time is good for, for me right now because I'm on my break. I'm not doing nothing. Sounds good. Um, how's tomorrow sound? Tomorrow, tomorrow. It's not a date, right? No, nah, not a date. That shouldn't be a proper thing. All right, stay sweet. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Did you just say Brian? Yes, that was Brian. I don't think you should be talking to him. Oh, you know what? Can I make one more call real quick? You gotta take it fast, All right, all right, all right, all right, all right thanks. Oh my God, come on. The guy's totally not your type. Well, I really don't see anything wrong with me talking to Brian. You don't see anything wrong with talking to Brian. But I do. It's embarrassing. What part of me talking to Brian is embarrassing to you? Because I'm the one that's going to be talking to the guy. And why should this even be an issue? I'm afraid that it will be. You think I could borrow the car, uh, you know, just for a few hours? I want to take Blossom. I don't know about that, Brian. Oh, sh man, come on, please. Please, man. Look, I swear, I, I'll have it back before you know it. In one piece, I hope. Of course. Okay, come and get it, man. All right, thanks, man. I'm on my way. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Just to get up my baby. Who? Blossom? No, man. My car. <laughs> oh, 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 all right. All right, no doubt. No doubt, baby. Yo, yo I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yo, man. I'm going out with five some good day. Okay, man. You're wasting my time. So what you been up to? Well, not much. Just uh, same old, same old hard work you working at. I see you still dressed up all nice, sexy. Yeah, I see you still giving your parents a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Oh, okay. You gotta guess. Well, let's be my room. No, come here. Come here. That's my brother. The one I told you about, Alice. Oh, okay. Alice, that's awesome. Wow. Nice to meet you. Same here. I heard a lot about you. You know what? I heard a lot about you, too. <laughs> Finally got to meet you, though. Emily, you didn't even offer your brother something to drink. Do you want anything to drink? Well, thank you very much. Some host she is. <laughs> of course, uh, what you got? Beer? Let me chill what we got. Alright. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'll set it for water if you have that. Hey, Alice, this is what we have. I hope this helps. Uh, that would do pretty good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Listen, guys. I gotta make a quick one, okay? Alice, when are you leaving? Um, well, how long are you gonna be? Not long, why? Well, uh, I'll wait for you, how about that? Okay. Blossom. Can you keep my brother company until I get back? <laughs> sure. She's already been a good host. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Unlike some people I know. Okay. Alright, I'll see you. Bye. Alright, see you. Get out of here. So, uh, how you like the new place so far? <laughs> Nothing to complain about. That's good to hear. Mm. I believe your parents are back home, right? Mm. How are they doing? Yeah, my dad is doing good now. My parents are very grateful for what your mom and my sister is doing for me. Yeah, they are. Oh, don't. Don't mention that, you know. Besides, we need to look out for one another, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, how often do you come here? Well, now that my sister's here, hopefully I think I'll be around a lot. But I actually plan on coming by maybe next weekend or something. So if you're not doing... Hold on a second. Let me get this call. 
Hello? Hey, beautiful. Hey, hi, Brain. You know, I was in the neighborhood, and uh, I just wanted to know if you wanted to go out, get a bite to eat or something. What time? Well, how's about a half hour sound? Okay. Let me get ready. I'll see you when you get here then. All right, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. All right, bye. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Uh, never mind. Just... Okay, um, listen, a friend of mine is on my way yet to pick me up, so I'm going to get ready. Let me know anything you need, all right? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Like, where's Alex? Left? What do you care? Excuse me? You heard me. How you gonna leave my brother sitting here all by himself while you, you wander around with this, with, with, with that bum? His name is Brian. I don't care what his name is. You know what? If you're gonna keep hanging around with this guy, things are never gonna be the same around here. And what here. is that supposed to mean? Blossom, look at you. You're a very beautiful woman. Why do you keep wandering around with this, with that, with, with, with that bum? When you can get any wealthy, nice-looking, intelligent guy that you want? Why? Do you have feelings for him? What the hell are you saying to me? What are you saying? You heard me. Are you in love with Brian? No, I'm not in love with Brian. Because I just think that you are taking this way too far. You know what? You got a boyfriend now. Okay. How about you start paying some of the bills up in here? Splitting the rent. How about that? 
you know why I don't like? Your behavior have gone way too far. And I don't have time to stay here and argue with you. Now if you will excuse me, I got better things to do. Better things to do? You think you're gonna be staying up in here and living rent free? Not over my dead body. Mm -mm. You and I know that your mom told me that I can live here as long as I want to for free until so, things so what? get better. So what? So, so what? Do not ask me to pay rent. Cause even yourself don't pay for a damn thing. You okay. Don't me. Just wait and see. Wait and see. You can scare me. All right. Okay. Go ahead. All right. About it? No! This girl's not working, so how you want me to ask her to pay rent? Why not, Mom? Why not? She's so ungrateful! Is you serious? She don't deserve our good. I understand you, you people not getting along, but I promise this girl I'm going to be there for her. I'm going to help her. So, what you asking me, I am not going to do it. I'm sorry. Okay then. Fine. But trust me, you would not like what I'm about to do. You know, this CD and DVD hustle, you know, it's working all right for the moment, but, uh, for real, I need a job, man. Yeah, you do. Well, what can you do? Go bit this, go bit that. <laughs> Man, I can pretty much do anything, but uh, I take a job at the shop. Hey, you know them guys at the shop. I'm gonna be able to take you in, man. You know that. Nah, man, I'm cool. Really? Okay. Talking about job, man. Have you checked the sun the paper yet? Nah. They got jobs in there. Alright, man. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can talk to them guys in the shop to see if they can uh, do something for you. Maybe clean up the mirrors and stuff. I'll clean it. Another window sister. Alright man. Yeah, you know, boy, man. I watch your back all the time, man. Yeah, I know man. I want you out of my apartment by this weekend. I'm sorry, come again. You heard me. I said I want you out of my apartment by this weekend. You still don't get it. Don't get what? You're not supposed to say anything to me about this apartment. Okay, all right. You think it's my mom that asked you to come, come and move up in here, huh? You think it's my mom? No. But I don't give you the right to ice me out for no reason. Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see about that. All right. We'll see about that. So how was 
was a trip. My dear, the water was so, so nice. It was yeah. fun. But something called pain pain? What is that? What's called pain pain? Mm -hmm. Much about, of course. You said the chunk in the water, they said, Oh, man, you said I'm good, though. And you paid that. Mom! Oh, yes. Oh, oh, chunk in Mom! Mom! What? So you're not going to do anything about it? Are you sure you're not taking this too far? No. And as long as she's living there under the same type of lifestyle, I'm not going to share an apartment with her. Either she leaves or I will. I don't really know what to do. I think we need to talk to Blasen. Tell her to do that because it's getting out of hand. You know what, All I gotta do is pass this test. This job is all mine. Babe, that sounds great. Tell me about it. Definitely change things for the better. Man, I can't wait. But babe, you sure you're ready? <laughs> well, yeah, I've been studying. I want this so bad I can taste it. You know? Okay. Everybody, your phone's ringing. Yeah, wait, let's get it for me. Alright. Hello? Who is this? You called me. I'm trying to speak to Barton, but who are you? This is Brian, Barton's boyfriend. Can I speak to Barton, please? Oh. Okay, um, hold on a second. Hello? Is it Baza? Oh, hi, mommy. Um, can I see you tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes. Okay, yeah, that's okay with me. Thank you. All right, I'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye. Who's that? Mommy. Evelyn's mom. Oh, okay. Um, look, I gotta go, I gotta um check with these people, find out what time I gotta take this test. So, um, it's really good to see your true face. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. See you later. Keep me posted. Alright. Everybody does not want you in the apartment again. Did she tell you why? I heard everything yesterday from a call. But then I told her to give you a week so you can be able to find a place. And I can't do anything but I'm so sorry. I appreciate everything your family did for me. I wish you. I got a good news and I got a bad news. Wait a minute. Hey, why are you sound like that? What's wrong? You okay? I'll be okay. I saw I got a place to stay. We can get together and we'll work this all out. You ain't got to worry about a second. Okay. Alright. Alright. All right. I'll see you later.
aprido, eh? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm packing my stuff to move out of your apartment. That's what I'm doing. I didn't mean it like that. I just thought that maybe you could stop seeing Brian. Maybe you'll see that he's no use to you. Well. Okay. I got my stuff out there. What is he doing here? Out of your apartment, you know. You will see either culture. Trust me. Hey babe, I was thinking, um, maybe we can get a hotel room. You know, for a couple of days, avoid this negative energy. At least until we get the apartment or the house. <sighs> Babe, are you buying a house? Well, yeah, I mean, this island bonus is big enough for a down payment. Wow. That sounds like a good cool idea, though. So, what do you say? We get out of here. Start fresh. I see you leave. I'm out for the. Put your body in motion, baby. Put your body in motion. Put your body in motion, baby. Put your body in motion. The way your body moves, my body is 
finally we got our own place. It's a whole big house. Mm -hmm. Big kitchen, big living room. And we actually got our own cars again too. <laughs> got my own car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, it's just only two of the both of us, yeah, two of us praying now, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Brian, he's still at work. I thought I was going to meet him home. No, I'm yet. I came home excited. I thought I was going to see him, but he's not home yet. I don't know how soon he will be. I don't know if he's coming today or not. I really miss him. Yeah, he can just be out alone home when he's not here yet. Mm. Oh. You have to go? Okay. Okay, say hi to dad for me too. Dad, bye bye. Hi. Mm hmm. I'm, uh, okay. All right, bye-bye. I love you, too. Bye-bye. Is Jimmy one of us? Jimmy. Oh, um. Yo, now who's Rita? Everyone in the front? Speaking of which. Hey, is this going right, Evelyn? I know she doesn't want to have anything to do with us. But we saw her invitation still. Like you. I love you. Sometimes I just feel like the most blessed person walking this earth. Place. <laughs> you know what? 
As a matter of fact, hey, you remember Rodney's basement party? You know, when you was you know, when you got real drunk, you probably don't remember it because you was drunk. But uh, uh, I mean, from across the room, I mean, it was kind of dark, but it just seemed like she was staring at me, like she was all up in my face. But I can't really think about it or nothing, you know. That's what I do, my man. I uh. I'm not in too deep nowadays, man. I'm kind of like taking it easy now. But, man, you, you in too deep, man. Well, you know me, baby. Four aces, I'm all in. But you know, that's my heart, man. That's my baby. Couldn't imagine life without her. And I am sure I don't want to remember life before. I'm not just talking about present tense, I'm talking about future tense, because, I mean, I can see us in 50, 60 years in our rocking chairs. Kids, little grandkids running around. But I'm gonna lay something more you, Jim. I, I'm, uh, I gotta tell you this, because I can't surprise somebody like you. I want you to pass out on me. I already pass out. Huh? <laughs> well, you know we got this housewarming coming up. I'm gonna drop that question on you. you no, know, I'm gonna drop that bomb. And uh, I'd be honored, and privileged, you know, if you would be my best man. I couldn't have nobody else. Standing up for me. Man, you know I got your back, man. I'll be your best man. I'm happy for you. I'm really, really happy. Talking about that, man, I wish you guys well, man. I hope it work out for you. Yeah. So do I. I hope it works out, too. Attention, please. Look, is everybody having a good time? Yeah. yeah. Everybody good? Yeah. Everybody's drink full? Yeah. Everybody's yeah. drink full? Everybody's okay? All right, good money. Everybody's drunk. <laughs> no, I'm not drunk. I'm high off life. Thank you very much. Um, no, but this announcement here is for the lady of the house. You know, before I uh, met you, my life really didn't have any direction, but um, ever since the day I laid eyes on you, you gave my life meaning. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you really... took a hold of my heart and that being said I was just hoping that maybe I could have a piece of yours so would you do me the honor of um, 
spending the rest of your life with me. Yes. Just go. I'll see you when you get back. It's not always going to be like this. What are you doing here? Can I please come in? You wanna come in? Why not? Oh wait. I forgot. Do you remember the guy Brian? You can't stay. He live here too. Which means you can come in. That's all. That's me. You were my good friend. And I will hate to call the police on you if you don't stop knocking at my door. Blossom, please. Please. Just give me a chance to explain myself. Everything that I did is because I love you. I love you like a sister. I just want things to go back to the way it was between us. I want us to be friends again. Please just let me in. Just to let you know, things are not going to be as I was before. Awesome. I said I was sorry. It's not you. It's about Brian here. Yeah. What time does he come home? Brian works outside the country. He leaves for weeks up to a month before coming back. Blossom, it must be hard for you. Listen, I promise that I will be here for you, okay? Brian's working on his schedule soon. He won't have to work outside the country. And everything gonna be just the worst before. I don't trust Evelyn. I think she's up to something. Babe, I wouldn't worry too much about Evelyn. I mean, she tried to keep us apart before. Didn't work. It's not going to work now. You're right. Besides, 
think Elvin's who you need to be worried about right now. Baby, you want to try this? This is good. Come on. Well, wait a minute. You going to tell me what it is first? Just try it. <laughs> Trust me. No, no, I don't. Uh uh. No, no. Not going to spoil my good appetite. I'm hungry. No, I am hungry. You are? <laughs> You're sneaky. I'm not sneaky. Are you serious? No, come on, man. You were saved by the bill. That's all right. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get rid of them, and when I come back, to be continued. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hey, what's up, Jay? No. No, I'm not coming in there. No, it's not going to happen. Trust me. No, that's... <laughs> well, did you look in the file cabinet? No, it's not. Man, I'm on vacation. Hey girl, I was just stopping by. What's up? Okay. There's not a real good time, but it's just freezing. Other than it's okay. I'm just all doing my boy. What? No, I am not coming in on my vacation. You heard that? No, this is my time off. I'm not. Wow, Brian, you've changed. I thought it better, I mean. You really look good. Um, yeah, um, thanks. Yeah, you look good too, Ellen. What? Hey, look at going to the office. These damn fools. I mean, they wouldn't be able to find their heads if it wasn't attached to their necks. Um, I shouldn't be too long, okay? Mm -hmm. Be back soon. Okay. Nice seeing you again. Please come. Yeah, so no, Jane. Thanks. Now, tell me what brings you in our area today. I was just thinking about you and Brian. Him working out of state. Okay. Just don't sound right. I mean... There's only one thing you can do, so you guys could both be on the same page. And what could that be? Get a boyfriend. I mean, I'm serious. I mean, it's just something to cheer you up while he's gone. You sit in this big house all by yourself and all. Come on now. Wow. <laughs> Seriously? I <laughs> mean... You do respect me in my own house? Now get out. <laughs> Blossom, come on. You know I'm just... Get like, out! I'm just playing. Come on, girl. We. It's a joke. How are you going to take me serious? <laughs> no, it's Evelyn. So, what's, what's been going on? Make this quick. Blossom's waiting on me. Come What's on, man. Come in. You're not gonna believe what I'm about to tell you. I mean, come on. I ain't got all day. 
Listen, you're a very nice guy. And Blossom and I are best friends. We're, we're friends too, right? <laughs> Look, where's this going? Listen, anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I just don't like the way Blossom is doing you. She, she I just don't like how she's treating you. You deserve to know what's going on. I'm listening. Blossom is cheating on you. <laughs> you know what? I knew from the moment you tried to weasel your way back in our lives that you was up to something. I mean, yo, who does that? Really, who does that? I mean, you're sick. I'd be an idiot to believe you right about now. I know you're not going to believe. I, I know you wouldn't believe me, okay? But just see for yourself. Just act like you're going to work and just pop up on her. Just pop up on her one day. And you'll see for yourself what she's doing to you. Okay? Brian. You want sick too. I... Hello. Yeah. Alice. Hey, what's up, little sis? I was just wondering if you could um swing by Blossom and and you know see if she's okay. Sure. Why? She's something don't sound right. I think she needs somebody to talk to. Well, I can do that. I'm actually in a neighborhood close by, so I'll probably st stop by and, and do that for you. That is perfect. That is th thanks, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. I love you. I love you too. All right? All right, take care. <laughs> I'm so good. Tell me what? The job sending me on a quick run to Canada. How could you do this to us? I'd spend every waking moment in your arms. But the reality is, we need this job. I have to go where they send me. like this forever. I promise. I gotta go upstairs and pack. Neighborhood, and I thought, hey, why not stop by and see my favorite girl? Uh, come 
Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, girl, I know, right? Yeah. Look, I'm gonna eat. Come on. So this is the palace, huh? <laughs> Come on. It's nice, yeah. nice. Oh, very nice place you got here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh. And a little drink. Sure. It's kind of cool out there, so you know I could do with something. I have to warm me up. A gin. Never wine, anything. I'll be right. Let me get you some drink. All right, thank you. Okay, got you some more. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Very nice place you got going on here. Oh, thank you. You and Brian might, must be doing pretty good. Did I say something wrong? No, 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 it's not you. Are you mm -hmm. sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like Brian work at a state. He go for weeks, month. Um, he work on his schedule, things will be okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I see where that can be depressing. Well, be in a big house like this all by yourself. He working his schedule. Things will be okay. Really? So yeah. Well, in the meantime, I mean, if you don't mind, look, just want you to know, okay? You don't have to be sad. You don't have to go through this all by yourself. If you ever need somebody to talk to, and uh, if you ever need a shoulder to cry on. I'm here for you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. I can't do that. Look. I love Brian. Yeah, well, I know. I should have known that. Um, that was uh, completely out of line. I'm sorry. It's okay. It seems like I'm the only person drinking. I mean, where's your glass? I don't see your glass. Get some of the drink. I mean, let's cheers to this. We can, you know, cheer to this big house you got here. Okay, okay. All right, get yourself a glass, girl. Come on. <laughs> This is not what you think. Trust me, man. Just relax. Relax. You know man. what? Y'all two deserve each other. You know what? You, you are crazy. 
You are crazy. You are freaking crazy. What did she ever do to you? Uh, what did she ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? I said she needed somebody to talk to. I didn't send you over there to do anything to her. You know, you know what? You made this mess. You better clean it up or else mom will hear about this. Yeah. Leave. Hello, Brian? Wh where are you? Are you okay? Listen, I'm sitting outside your house right now and there's, there's cops all around this place. I know why. Blossom told him that you, you tried to kill her. Listen, whatever you do, just don't answer your phone and do not come home. If there's anything that you need, just call me. Okay. What's wrong with your face? Did Brian do this to you? Oh, Blossom. Blossom, Blossom, Blossom. Didn't I warn you about him? Huh? So what are you gonna do? What do you mean what I'm gonna do? What are you doing? What I'm doing? I'm calling the cops. It was a mistake. And I don't think you should call the police. I'm not gonna call police on my fiancé. Look at your face. You gonna sit around and have this man beat on you? Huh? Black and blue, your eyes. Do you expect me to call police on my fiancé? You know what? If you don't need my help, then I'll just leave. I'll do smart thing. I just need to be No, alone. I'll just leave. I'm gonna sit there and let this man beat on you. Look at look at your face. Sitting there looking looking like Tina Turner. <laughs> oh well, I'll leave. Nam yo ringe cure. I really do appreciate you letting me stay here though. I mean, as soon as me and Blossom work this out, you know, I'll be out of your hair. It's the least I can do. I mean, after all the things I did to you in the past, it's my pleasure. You can stay in my room tonight if you like. No, no, that's that's okay. You know, I'm good right here on the couch. You know, um, if you could just get me a cover and some black and some okay. blankets, that'd be cool. All right. All right. Okay. You alright? Yeah. I'll be alright. So you gonna be okay with the pillows on the couch? Thank you. All right.
Your breakfast ready. Yeah, it smells good too, but I really don't have time. Uh, I gotta get into the office. But, um, could you do me a favor? What is it? Could you get in touch with Blossom for me? I mean, as comfortable as the couch is, everything. Um, I'm really missing my own bed, not to mention a certain other occupant of that bed. So if you can get in touch with her, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, you know you've been really great through all this, I appreciate it. You sure you don't want some coffee? Uh, no. Uh, don't really have the time, but thanks. He lives here now. Oh, you and Jerry back together now? Jerry? Who's talking about Jerry? That's Brian's. Brian lives here now. You're joking, right? No. I'm serious. Evelyn, aren't you the same person that told me that you and Brian doesn't have anything in common? And besides that, Brian would never love you. He's in love with Blossom. Then there's nothing you could do to break them apart. Oh, stop it! <laughs> Blossom threw herself at him. But I will take care of that. Because he's going to be my man. No matter what it takes. this week. I have a lot of stuff that I have to pay and I have to get some shoes for school. <laughs> Mom, let me call you right back. Can I get the door? Still part time? Yeah, kinda yeah it is. Can I call you later? Oh, okay. Um I I, I you know I tried calling you but you didn't pick up. So I just like let me drop by you know to ready for that you heard from Brian. Mm -mm. You know. I know maybe he should he could still be afraid of what happened the other day, but he could easily get to you to kinda find out about me how I'm doing, you know. But anyway, I'm sorry. Just in case if you hear Frank, can you tell him? I really miss him. Okay. Please. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, I'll see you later. Can I call? I'll, I'll call you. All right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nobody. I know I heard the door. Oh, oh that. It was Joe who witness. You know they always knocking on people's door and stuff.
What's wrong? You okay? Can you do me a favor? Sure, what is it? Can you give this to Blossom? I know she's not working. She needs to take care of the bills. Brian, you're such a nice guy. Blossom is so lucky to have a man like you. Then why don't I feel lucky? I've been calling you to a couple of times now. You're not picking up. I hope everything's okay. I don't know what's going on. Okay, because what things are going on with me right now, I'm just so confused. Brian is not picking up his phone. And even this morning I called him, the phone is turning off. I don't know what's going on. But I'm coming over to see you tomorrow. Alright? Because all the bills I just passed you, and everything is just crazy on me right now. So I will see you tomorrow. When you get my message, just call me back. If I don't hear from you, I'll still show up tomorrow, okay? Alright, then talk to you later. Bye bye. you when you get here. Come on then. <laughs> Guess what? What? Today's my birthday. Really? Yeah. Happy birthday then. You don't believe me, do you? It really is. No, I believe you. I believe you. What you going to do tonight? You know, I know you're not going to sit around here. Well, I wanted to go out, but nobody's available tonight. How about you coming out with me? Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Be sitting around here watching reruns. Yeah, let's do it. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to get dressed, okay?
some weight. Baby, you did this to me. You did this to yourself. Don't come over here and try to blame it on, on anybody but yourself. I tell you what, my friend. Gosh. How could I be dumb to do any hassles of him? You're not him, my Ellie. You're a monster. I don't care what you think about me. See? He chose to be with me. I just came out here to tell you to stay away from me and my man. See, what you did to him made his choice much easier. Do what? What did I do? You cheated slut! You slapped me! You, you are lucky. My man took me right. And I didn't strangle you to death. Just leave. Get out! We don't need you here. You know something? You're right about one thing. About what? He don't deserve me. Can after all she did to me, I accepted her back in my life as her sister. And all she could have done to me was to stab me from the bike. So, all in all, that's what she wanted. What I had, and Brian. How could you do this to me? How could you? <laughs> I love you. I open up my heart to you. Between us last night. My friends are gonna be so disappointed. Gosh. Did anything happen last night? I don't remember anything. Last thing I remember is we were having drinks. Oh gosh. That's the last thing I remember too. from last night.
this is just that I love it so much I can't get out of my head. I must still be drunk. This, this is my shirt. Oh, um, you threw up on me last night, remember? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That was crazy. talk about at this point you know I mean things just aren't making sense to me it's not adding up I mean this morning when we woke up we end up wearing bed together and it's just like okay that's weird but then you know you say that you don't remember anything that happened from the night before either I mean you know I didn't but the weirdest thing was that you had on my shirt and you know when I question you about it I got you get my shirt on you say, you come up with the excuse, oh, you know, I, you know, you threw up on me. Oh, okay. Maybe well, he, was I, more, he was probably more messed up than I was. Yeah, but if I don't remember anything, then you shouldn't remember anything either, you know? You should, if that's the case, you should know how we ended up in bed together, and you should know whether anything happened or not. I mean, the whole thing is just getting weird. I mean, I'm not mad at you or anything, but it just, it doesn't make any sense, you know? Now, I need to go, for me, go make sense of this whole thing, you know? In the meantime, I can't stay here, you know? Where are you going to go? I don't know. I don't know. I just got to go clear my head, you know? I mean, I'll be back later to get my stuff, you know? That's the long and the short of it, you know? I really appreciate it, but really, sweetie, I'm sorry. I, I got it. I'll see you just, around. Thanks. Brian, just Thanks come back and talk to me, please. Just come back and talk to me, please. What you doing here too, man? Killing yourself in that place. Anyway, um, you remember that I told you about something big coming up? Yeah, yeah. You know, I always told you I wanted to do security thing and all of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you always did say you wanted to be like a cop or whatever, but hey. Whatever. It happened big, man. I had this contract, man, that I travel all over the states and stuff. Right. Sort of a sort of a consultant thing, right? Ah. Established different security companies. Okay. That's what I've been doing, man. That, that that's why you're gonna see me. Yeah, okay. Alright, well that's good, man. I'm proud of you, bro. That still don't explain what you're doing up in here. I'm waiting for my girl, man. I suppose so I met her here, but you know how it is, man. Oh man, you know how the women are, man. There you go. Matter of fact, talking about 
Where's Blossom? And Blossom don't know I exist right now. I wish I knew where, where Blossom was going. Man, we had this big fight and, you know, things got escalated, you know, police got involved, you know, I couldn't come back to the house. I mean, I was looking for you, but now I know where you were, you know, because I was going to crash at your crib until I got things straightened out, but I ended up, I ended up staying with Evelyn. What? Evelyn? Uh, That's um, soccer ball? Yeah, man. Like, you know, know, she's crazy. Yeah. My girl is crazy. I know. <laughs> Uh, man, let me I tell you, man. I mean, that, I just, man. I just had an argument with her because it's just been too many odd coincidences, and you know, things just started happening. It just didn't feel right. I had to read that. I had to tell her I had to roll. I just did that, you know. But right now, I'm just trying to figure out what my next move is, man. Besides this book. Yo, you know, I always tell you the truth, man. I never, never gave you the wrong advice. I always try to do my best. All right, I'm gonna tell you something. Blossom been a nice person to you. She been there from the beginning up to this moment. Yeah. The woman can't advise, go after her, man. Go and straighten it up. Okay? Yeah. You know I wouldn't give you any wrong advice, man. That and you never so have, good. dude. I mean, I know, I just... You know, the best thing for me to do is to just do it. You know, I'm sitting up here wondering how I'm going to do it. I should just do it. Do it now? You're right, man. You always right. Do it right now. You need I'll to let find you out later, later, man. All right. So tell your girl I said hi. All right. I'm going to tell her. Right. Hey, baby. How you doing? Where you at? Oh, you stay home? Listen, baby, we will have to cancel this for the fucking night, all right? Yeah, um, something came up. I have to take care of that. Matter of fact, I'm on my way back home, all right? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get this thing up. to put an end to this once and for all I need to what? Brian is in love with me I does that have to do with me? It has everything to do with you! <laughs> you saw with your own two eyes this morning whose bed he was in it wasn't yours now was it? Great Why don't you go celebrate? Hmm? Put on Facebook You do anything Now get out of my house! Don't tell me what to leave. Don't tell me what to leave. I don't want to do this. Please put the gun there. Don't tell me what to do. I have to do this. Put the gun there. We can't talk about this. We don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of you messing in our lives. My life. Brian's life. I'm tired of it. We don't have anything to talk about. I'm going to finish you. Once. And for all.
you doing? She wouldn't let us be together. She wouldn't leave us alone. Us? Together? What? Oh my God, baby. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Yeah, baby, it's me. It's me. I, no, I, don't move. Don't move. We're going to get you some help, okay? Brian, I know you love me. I can tell by the way you look at me. You took me out for my birthday. You're certifiably nuts. You know that? I had to do this. She just wouldn't listen. She don't want us to be together. This. I came over here to make things right, Brian. She just wouldn't listen. Make what right? Listen to what? Brian, you took me out. You you spend the night with me, remember? I, I know you love me. Love you? Did you just say love you? Seriously, though, no. love you. You took me out. Because I felt sorry for you. What? Why would you ever think? What would possibly make you think that I could ever be with somebody like you? Baby, baby, please, just come back to me, please. <sighs> what are you doing? Yo, what the? Where'd you get that from? Put that thing away. I'm doing what I came here to do. If I can't have you, then she won't have you. No, Evelyn, stop. You don't have to do this, all right? Brian. You don't have to do this. No. I didn't mean what I just said. Why you say it, Dad? Why you, why you say it, Dad? Look. All right, it was like reverse psychology. All right? I needed you to leave because I didn't want them to find you here. I had to get you out of here. And that's the only way I knew how to do it. I know you love me. Oh, no doubt, baby. Definitely the one I want to be with. I mean, can't have my baby in jail now, can we? No. Okay. We were meant to be together. That's right. Absolutely. Um, but you know, you make me a little nervous with that gun. You, you know, you're a lady. You shouldn't be handling that. So, why don't you just give it here, okay? Now, baby, come on. We can run away together. Oh, oh. Baby, come on, let's go. We can run away together. She'll never be here to interfere with us again. <laughs> what are you doing? Brian, I did this for us. You said that you love me. You said we was gonna be together. I did. I did all of this so we can be together for nothing, huh? You lied to me. You said that you love me. I love you. I don't really hate you, Ryan. I love you. But I'll do it. After all that I've done to be with you, I'll do it. Go ahead, shoot.
of our house is a constant reminder of what we have. The love, my God, I have no idea how much I loved you. From the first time I saw you. Oh, in so many ways, I, I felt unworthy of you. I mean, a woman who was so smart, so beautiful. I mean, what could you see in a bum like me? <laughs> that you never made me feel like less than a man. This was supposed to be our wedding day. would have been a beautiful bride. <laughs> you had some beautiful kids. <sighs> well, because of what the day, what the day should have been, I'm going to recite my vows for you. <laughs> I promise to love, cherish, and honor you. Till the end of time. <laughs> I will honor our love. And your memory by continuing on that straight path that you inspired for me. I promise. I make you proud. I see you in my dreams. <laughs>